What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great week, a great Wednesday, but we're here to talk some birds. Now, this is not a live video tonight. We'll be breaking down the top positional battles, looking at this roster, who I've got as locks on the bubble, top position battles, 10 players to watch, and all that stuff will be tomorrow. I'll actually have a lot more than 10, but uh, look, pregame show, all that stuff, man. Football is in the air. We are 18 days away from game one. That is insane. Cut down period, eight days away. Uh, it's a lot going to be happening here in the next couple of weeks. So a lot of excitement in the air, but the Eagles made a roster move today. So before those cut downs, before the preseason, any of that stuff, we're going to talk about this roster move the Eagles made. And well, they signed Freddie Swain. So look, this is a guy familiar with our offensive coordinator, Brian Johnson. So you're adding that we talked about this yesterday, you know, you're adding someone that's going to get a lot of preseason reps uh, that could either be cut or added to the practice squad, but not going to make the roster, but you add competition and, you know, he brings versatility. He can play inside, outside. He is a returner as well. So we talk about adding someone that has those, you know, capabilities. So the familiarity with Brian Johnson, you know, his versatility, that really goes a long way. So don't get upset about it. A lot of people, you know, why didn't we sign DeAndre Hopkins instead? And I look, oh God, um, you gotta understand the money, all that stuff. But this is a camp body. This is somebody here to compete for this last preseason game. And with all the injuries we have, especially to someone like Britton Covey, who returns the ball, well, you add somebody who can help in that area. So let's take a look at Freddie Swain, talk a little bit about his game, talk about, you know, the fact that he is a versatile piece here. But he's six foot, 199, 25 years old, coming into his fourth year out of Florida. And he was a sixth round selection in 2020, pick number 214 by the Seattle Seahawks. Now, since uh, he did not make the team a couple years ago, he went to Denver. Uh, well, actually, he went to Miami, then he went to Denver, then he was back to Miami most recently. So, last team he played for was the Dolphins here. But you probably know him from his time with the Seahawks. So let's talk about what Freddie has been able to do in his career here. And look, again, a camp body, somebody on the back end here of the roster that, you know, you're trying to get somebody that, you know, uh, obviously can help you in a plethora of ways. So you can see here, you know, only 567 yards in his career, but 13.7 yards per reception. And uh, look, he is uh, somebody that is a little bit of a speedster, somebody that I think obviously, you know, has a chance here because of that returnability to go on the practice squad, prove his worth here. But, you know, his best season was in 21. He had 343 yards on 25 catches. That's 13.7 yards per reception as well. So his best season, that is also his career average. So you're not just seeing, you know, like jaded. I mean, take all the numbers with a grain of salt, but you can see here, look, he's done some things. 8.2 yards per return when it comes to punts, and then 22.8 yards per return when it comes to kicks. No touchdowns there, but he's serviceable back there, and he's somebody, you know, that adds to something that we need. So, again, not a big deal to me. He has started some games, and I think that people get carried away. The media will get carried away. Why are we adding here? You know, we don't feel comfortable about Quez and Alamade. This guy is not taking their jobs. Um, again, he is here to be a camp body and possibly make this practice squad. So let's talk about this. You know, this is a deep wide receiver room. So no, I don't think this guy's coming here to start. I don't think he's taking anybody's jobs here because there's a lot of competition. And I don't think any of those back end guys are going to be taking a job from anyone. And we've talked about it. Do we keep a fifth, maybe a sixth, maybe Covey starts off the year on IR and you only ride with four. Um, you can elevate someone on game days from the practice squad. So Whoever your wide receiver is, or two, or three, or four on the practice squad, you can elevate whoever you want. But you've got guys like Ward, Allen, Nada, Kane, Hazelwood, and King here, and now you add Swain to the mix, rocking that ugly number thirty-eight. So look out for him tomorrow during the preseason game to be getting some returns, have some action here. You know, so look, there's some injuries going around. We'll see who's actually available to play. But if you know who your depth is, you know who you want on practice squad. You're not going to have them out there hurting themselves. So maybe they get a couple reps, but the rest of the time needs to be used by guys that all well, probably aren't going to make this squad and are putting on an audition for other teams or the Eagles practice squad. So 
you see, we've got 12 guys competing for four, five, maybe six jobs. So going to be intriguing to see. You tell me who you think makes this squad. But, uh, you know, a couple of injuries happen. So just like when we talked about adding Sagapulo or adding, you know, the plethora of guys we added, you know, a few days ago. These guys, they're going to see a lot of preseason action because, well, that's what we needed them for. We don't want to hurt the guys that are actually going to be here. But we had some injuries in that preseason game, and some guys passed through waivers and now have been placed on IR. You see here Rambo and Bradley were there, but we just most recently placed Tyree Cleveland, Noah Ellis, and Zach McPherson on IR. So those guys, you know, whether or not they're released, if they get healthy and, you know, get released and are allowed to go somewhere else, or maybe, you know, we give them a shot here or whatever it may be, best of luck to them. Hope they heal up. But, you know, making a list here already of guys, so you got to be careful here. So looking at the updated depth chart here with those guys on IR, you see that Swain, you know, he just adds to the mix here. And again, he can play outside. He can help with slot receiver. So if Covey, Ward, Alamade, Quez are not playing, well, Freddie Swain will get some slot action there. And, you know, it, all these back-end guys, this is it, man. This is your last shot. So time to step it up here. And I'm very excited tonight. We're going to be talking about the top positional battles. And I cannot wait to get into it. I'll show you the rest of this depth chart here. Again, if you've never seen this show, you know, everyone in green new to the team this year, but also looking at this defense, I have 12 starters here. So you understand the five man fronts, what they look like, at, you know, two edge rushers and then three interior defensive linemen, the D tackles, nose tackles. Uh, but when you have your four man fronts, you have your nickel cornerback out there. So I want to show you all of that, but lots of depth, lots of competition. Looking forward to talking about that tonight on the show. Now, I also did not leave out the special teams unit, but we've talked about this. You know, we've had guys we were throwing back, Justin Evans, Zach McPherson, Trey Sermon, all kinds of people getting reps as returners, but haven't seen anyone necessarily take the job from Covey and Scott yet. So we're seeing how this thing plays out. I left an open spot in case they wanted to bring a, a punter in, but uh, I don't think we're doing that. We're riding with Sippos. Obviously, he and Elliot, with him being the holder, they have a connection there, but hopefully he figures it out with the punting. Now, I've talked about it. I have Olamide and Penny as my returners, but it is what it is. You have some other guys there that are capable. Deion Kane, sure, he could get some kick returns in this game, and maybe you see Swain back there as the punt returner, but lots of depth here, and I will be live tonight to break it all down, all the top positional battles, who to be watching out for. So I hope to see you then, but if you got anything from this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. You can always subscribe. I'm always down to talk some birds with you, but truly appreciate you tuning in here today. If you need anything, it doesn't have to be talking eagles. You need a friend. You need whatever it is. Feel free to reach out down below. I love each and every one of you. Can't thank you enough, but I hope you're all having yourselves a great day. Until next time, I'm Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. You all stay safe out there, and as always... Go Warriors!